And number five, vocative. V-O-C-A-T-I-V-E. Now, the stem of a noun is the part of the noun that remains constant when the various endings are added. Uh, the stem of anthropos would be anthropo. And then you put the ending on it to determine the case. Um, let me try to explain a little bit about case just for a brief moment here. The subject of a sentence is put in the nominative case. The subject of a sentence is put in the nominative case. If I say apostolos gnoske, what does that sound like? Apostolos, what is apostolos? Apostle Gnoske. What would that be? Knows. Gnosko. I know. Gnoske. He knows. Apostolos Gnoske. An apostle knows. The nominative is when the subject, the subject of the sentence is always put in the nominative case. You know the nominative case uh, by the ending. By the ending of the word. So when I look at the word apostolos, I know that it is talking about an apostle. And because that is the subject of the sentence, I know it's in the nominative case. Because I know it's in the nominative case, I know it's the subject. The genitive case expre expresses possession. The genitive case expresses possession. So if I say logoi apostolon, what is what would logoi be? What does that sound like logoi? Words. A word it would be words, literally, logoi, because it's plural. And a post alone would be apostles. So logoi, a post alone, is the words of apostles. Are apostles' words. Uh, the genitive case has a lot of important uses. And they really can only be learned by observation. What is the stem for a postalos? Um, the stem for a postalos would be. Can I help you out here for a second? Yes, sir, please do. The second declension noun stems all end in Omicron. So masculine would take the, the sigma endings and the neuter are going to take the new endings, but they all end in Omicron. Which one? Which one? So apostolos would be apostolo. Is is the stem. Am I correct? But if you change it like if you were saying, wouldn't it be like could the, it be apostolate? The, the stem like the stem of apostolo yeah. would be a apostolo. Because it's from apostella, I said. Apostolo would so, be the stem. So what I'm saying is all the stems of second declension now is in the normal. All second declension nouns like anthropos, apostolo, have stems that end in omicron. So sometimes they call it, when I was in school, we call it the old declension. The old, the old declension. Uh, but the stem becomes disguised when the endings come on. Uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But we'll learn the we'll learn all of the endings. All right, the uh, the vocative case is the well. Let's see the data. I didn't get to the data. All right, we're going to run out of time, so we're going to quit right there. We're going to come back next week and talk about the cases. I want to ask you to turn in your Bible real quick. I, I wish we had time to more time than this, but turn to First Timothy chapter two.
First Timothy chapter two. I want to show you why tonight studying the Greek language can be very, very helpful. And since we're talking about nouns, 